hello viewers welcome to my channel at easy service where i make survey practices easier and educative in this video i want to quickly compare a contour map generated by ai and um, the one i'll be generating manually in qgis so let's get started here is my qgis software and i'm just going to use the new mt template as my project template all right and um let me quickly show you the data i will first of all generate the contour map using the manual method in qgis and here is my spot height data in excel so you should have your data as well if you want to do the same comparison all right then you come to file then come to save us then you note the uh, folder you want to save your job then you save it as comma delimited okay then you click on save then you click on okay so you can close this work environment so here in my folder i have two data microsoft excel comma delimited by the excel workbook so i'm just going to delete this and leave the csv sports height data all right so that's the first thing then you close this then you launch into your qgis work environment so in this video it is two in one uh, i'm showing you how to generate a contour map in qgis and i'll quickly compare it with an ai generated contour map all right therefore in qgis you quickly add your spot height data so i'll come to layer you come to add layer then you scroll to add delimited test layer you click on that it is going to bring out this window then you click on this browse then you navigate to where your data is so my data is under my data folder okay then you click on open all right so when you click on that you scroll down then this point coordinates you can see the x feed is here the y feed is here then the z feed you define that z feed all right so below here you can have a preview so this is x this is the eastings the north things then the height elevations respectively all right so when you are done with that you define the geometry crs which is the coordinate uh reference system of your data so my reference system is on mena utm zone 31 so you define that if you do not see the option for your uh, crs of interest you click on this loop icon then you can search for the coordinate system of interest then you choose it okay so that is just that make sure all this is done accurately then you click on add then you click on ok then close so these are my spot height data therefore after adding the spot height data i will quickly add my study area boundary still by coming to layer come to add layer then this time around i am adding a vector layer i'll click on that then click on this browse icon here then i will add my shape file so here it is then you click on add and close so here's my shape file so let me make it to be outlined and not filled so you double click on the shape file field you click on simple fill all right then you click here then you click outline field line all right it will change then you click on apply and okay so that's just it so the two data the study area then the spot height data after this you come to the processing to come to two balls so you search for the interpolation uh, method that is of best interest to you so i want to interpolate spot height to rasta all right then you come to this search box then search for interpolation so before you finish typing you are going to see the options so i'll be going with the idw interpolation all right so these are the interpolation methods here so the best one to go with is the inverse distance wing interpolation so you double click on that it's going to bring out this window therefore on your vector layer you make sure it is the uh, spot height data that is there then the interpolation attribute it is z all right then you check this use z coordinate for interpolation then you click on this plus icon here so you are going to see the spot height data then make sure this is on point 
then you can scroll down leave this on default then the extent now you click on this drop down shadow arrow here all right then you calculate from layer then you scroll then you check on study area you choose the extent as the study area then you scroll down then you click on this then you click on save to file so you can now scroll to the folder where you want your results to be saved so i have another folder on my desktop which is a result my results so i want so i want my data to be saved there so i'll call this raster or let me call this topo raster okay then you click on save when you are done with this make sure this is checked open output file after running algorithm you click on that then you click on run so you are going to give it a while depending on how bulky your spot height is it is going to interpolate your spot height to topo raster which is another words the dm a dt2 elevation model so it is already processing that then you give it a little bit time Therefore, you can see so it is showing complete. So you can close this window, okay? Then you can come here, then you zoom to layers, all right? So, so that is the topo raster. So let me bring it down, all right? So these are the spot heights on it, the boundary, and the DM, all right? So the next thing to do is to extract the contours from the dm that is generated all right so all you have to do next is to come to your processing toolbox then this time around you search for contour all right so here is the contour you double click on that then the input layer you choose the topo raster all right it is already there topo raster okay the band number you leave it the interval between contour lines so this is the contour interval so you edit it to what you want that is you edit it to your interest therefore i'll go with 0.5 to give me the best uh, terrain representation of my study area so the attributes name you leave it as elevation all right then this you can leave it it is optional all right then the advanced parameter here you click on this uh icon here then you click on save to file so you let these contours to be under the folder of your results if you have created a separate folder for that so this i am going to call this contours or let me give it qgis contours because i'm still going to generate the ai contour to see if there is any difference or not then you click on save all right you make sure this is checked and um, that is all then you click on run so it is complete then you close the window then you close this window as well so already on the work environment you can see the contours generated so let me just uncheck the layer of the dm topo raster and i'm going to uncheck this then leave the study area so you can see this is the contours generated however there is no label on it so all you have to do to show your label is to click on the QGIS contours you right click then you click on show labels however these are not the labels of the contour this is just the id of the contours 
so to show the elevations of each compass okay you right click then you come to properties so you are going to see these options then this time around you come to labels all right then you come to value you scroll to the drop down shadow arrow here then you make it elevation so when you make it elevation you can now click on apply and okay so these are the elevations of the contours all right so you can see it the way it is so from the topo raster you can see the minimum elevation is 360.38 approximately while the highest is 371.72 approximately all right so let me just uncheck it okay so you can make the color to be brown all right which is the right color for contours according to symbology so the simple line you can see this color you can now choose brown um, so let me go with this then you click on ok apply ok so here it is okay so quickly let's generate the ai contour from this same dem all right we already have our dm so we are just going to generate an ai contour from the dm to see if there will be differences or not then you come to the deepseek ai so make sure your system is connected to an active internet so you are going to type your question the way you are seeing on the screen could you provide a python script that i can run in my ggis python console to generate contours from my dm data and click on send Please, if you are a first timer on this channel, you can check under the description to see how to download and install this app freely. So it is generating a script, a Python script that we are just going to copy and paste in the Python console in KGIS. To generate the uh, contours so these are the instructions just follow carefully however i'm going to practically show you in the course of the video so when it is done you click on copy then you minimize then you come back to your qgis work environment so you uncheck all this don't delete don't remove just uncheck because we want to compare and contrast if there is any changes or not then you come to plugins then you come to python console then you click on show editor so you here you are going to copy and paste the python script generated from the deepseek ai then you paste it here so after you paste all right you come here and edit the, the part to the dem file okay so this is how you are going to go about it it is very easy so you come to the layer you come to add layer so this time around the uh add raster layer then you click on this browse icon then you scroll to where you have your dm okay generated the topo raster and you click on open so all you have to do is just to copy this copy this is the part of the dm you copy it you minimize then you come here okay from this tif which is the extension of the dm you paste all right so that is the part of the dm raster okay the topo raster so here this is one thing you are not going to see in many videos from other channels okay so the code the python script generated from this sick ai is a little bit in error so you will change this argument to slash all right the opposite slash you can see this is coming this way but the right argument is to come the opposite way okay so you are going to change that so that the command can be readable by ggis python console okay so you take note of this all right so that is all you have to do here so this is the input dm5 part which we have just done then the output contour 5 part so this is where you want your contours to be saved into so i want it to be saved under my results folder so when you open the folder you click on this uh space here then it's going to highlight the parts of the my result folder you copy you close then you come back to your qgis work environment 
then this time around you edit from this place okay then you paste the parts of your results then remember you change the argument to the right argument for it to be readable by qgis python console so when you are done you can see here my results contours so you can just put an underscore here so that is where the contours is going to be saved then here at this line 16 and 17 you have to define the contour interval remember the contour interval we use to generate the qgis contour is 0.5 so to have the same results you edit it to 0.5 or whatsoever intervals you have used initially all right and that is all all you have to do next is to click on run so it is generating and it has run okay so here you are going to see it that contours have been created and saved in the uh, defined output path so it is named as contours.shp so you close this window then you are to navigate to where the contours shapefile is saved then you come to layer come to add layer navigate to add vector layer then you click on this browse icon so it is actually saved under my desktop so i'm just going to scroll down then you can see it here my results my result contour my results contour so this is the shape file all right if you click here you see the type autocad shape source this is the real shape file so you click on this and you click on open it is going to appear here so you can see it my results underscore contour shape file then you click on add and close so here is the ai generated contour all right and you can see if i zoom there is absolutely or no difference okay with the qgis uh, contours generated so let me quickly add the labels to the ai generated contours by coming back come to properties then we should come to labels then you change the value to elevation and not id then you click on apply and ok so here it is so let's quickly see if it is the same you can see 363 for this 363.5 for this and let's see there's absolutely almost no doubt with what the deepseek ai is giving based on what we have seen so far based on the topographic service all right so let me just quickly load a base map to beautify this uh, contour map so you will come to hcm gis please you can check under the comment section to see how to load these plugins how to install and download them freely so you come to base maps so let me quickly go with google terrain hybrid so here it is and um the contours has been covered so i'll just drag the base map below so this is where we have covered let me now check the study area all right so this is where we have covered this a particular school of technology somewhere in nigeria all right so that is how the deep seek ai generated contour is the same thing with the manually generated contour for topographic surveys in qgis software please if you find this video helpful do well to hit on the subscribe icon as well as turn on the notification bell to keep getting very valuable and informative video freely from this channel thank you let's hear from you under the comment section see you in the next video